Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in Tyr's Temple, in his hidden vault, where we hope to find the rune that will lead us to Jotunheim. I'd like to start off with a shout-out to Elthwar, who left a comment on the video where I fought Hrazler, the dragon, saying, A nice little split between you and Kratos is that when Sindri started screaming, you started sprinting, even if Kratos was more hesitant until Atreus asked him to help. Though the fact that Kratos agreed so readily shows he has been warming up over the course of this hike. I like that, just that observation. I meant to get that in here sooner. I'd also like to give a shout-out to Derek Floyd, who says, If anyone says Let's Plays Steel Sales by showing you how the game is played, let it be known that I bought Dad of Boy because of this LP in particular. <laughs> so thank you, Derek. That's extremely flattering. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, just before we jump in. Shout-out to Clunk279, who says, uh... That's one thing I've always wondered about Greek mythology. Who was holding up the world before Atlas? That is an excellent point. Now, about that lesson. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods, some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not oh. that. Do you smell something? Oh no. Yeah, I do. Smells like rain. Oh fuck! Oh good. You ruined everything. I earned that fucking hammer. But now, everyone's gonna think I only got it, because Magni's gone. It'll be a joke! Boy, if I kill you, no one's gonna laugh at me. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. Shut up! True, but I'm gonna get to know you really well. You're gonna be my new brother right after I finish killing your father. Oh! Ah! Oops, I think I broke him. <laughs> Got it too. Stay back. We have to get him to Freya quickly. There's no other way. Kratos' rage is eating him from the inside out. That's why he gets sick when he gets mad. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh... Here? So bad. I'm surprised Mimir wasn't complaining about being electrocuted. Maybe the belt grounds him. Yeah, right. Uh oh. I I guess we're going this way. Take the boat. Freya's isn't far. Oh hell no. Did I piss off Dad too? That's what I thought when he said it smells like rain. Oh shit. 
He looks dead already. Not where we're going? Oh, right! Past Thor, I forgot about that. Right! Because it hides... Yeah, there's no, uh, thing... There's no dock there. Nowhere to land. Yeah, Modi seems to have completely fallen apart now that destiny has been broken. Odin's eye is on you, brother. Especially now that you've taken to killing his kin. Thea's forest is a blind spot for him. This is our smartest move. And if anyone can heal him, it's hard. What is happening to him? I've seen it in mortals that some conflict of the mind expresses itself as an ailment of the body. Never a god. But a god believing himself mortal. Only imagine. We're almost there. He's not a god, he's a demigod. I mean, it sounds like his mother was a powerful uh, magic user, but. Trust me on this, Kratos would not knowingly get into a relationship with a god. You need to tell him the truth and you're done here. Once again, the path is chosen for me. I can't turn. Somebody just called the serpent. Shaking. It's serious. We must hurry. I can't sprint. I feel like Kratos would have pulled the goddamn house into the ground if he'd had to. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. Oh, I good. Its heart. Oh, good. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. Hmm. It is a land of unyielding hold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Dig up a past I swore would stay buried. No! Before, it doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. 
When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? No road back from Hades, Boy. either. Hey, Mille. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. No. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Energy window. Cool. Oh boy. He can't really mean that, can he? Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be. As you wish. Kratos, everything you've ever done with those things is monstrous. They were given to you by a monster, and they turned you into a monster. You need to be absolutely certain this is the only way. Because if I understand what you're saying... That's what the ghost of a god looks like, for the record. Last I heard, she was walking off into the distance with the blade of Olympus, a sword of the power of a god inside of it. I like that the boat just knows where we're going. No, I can't check the map. Is this where we cut down that first tree? Oh my god, I think it is. This is several kinds of messed up. Hey, rage all you want, Thunderboy. It didn't do Zeus any good. I don't get it, though. Kratos didn't know he wasn't human until he was a grown man. And his rage just made him so powerful, nothing could stand against him. Oh. 
God damn it. I am. be after all these years that he kept them I had been wondering what was so important that Atreus was told never to go under the floor but God above I couldn't imagine That's the the, the, the loincloth wrap he used to wear. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> you cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. Oh, God. But I am your monster no longer. All right, brother. Let's see what those blades can do. God. Just like I remember. Oh yeah, there it comes the lashing with the heart with a strong attack. There we 
there is no behind me when you spin in a circle. I can't believe they're playable. by holding both of them out in front of him like an X. Good God. How did Chuckles that guy seven hits in a row or something like that? a door to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? It's not even how I used to wear them. I used to have the handles sticking out over both shoulders. Not sure how they could even be the Blades of Chaos, given that they were taken back by Ares. He had different Blades in all three of the main games. It was Blades of Chaos in the first one, the Blades of Athena in the second one, you know, your monster and all that, and the Blades of Exile in the third one. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I went over that already. I just wanted to remind because. Well, let's, let me put it this way. Even with the changed names, the fans just kept calling them the Blades of Chaos, so I can kind of understand this. Oh, boy. Blades of Chaos. Blades imbued the flames of the Underworld. A relic of Kratos' past. Oh, joy! Spartan's heritage. Crude wooden blade grips. Oh. It must have its own set. Uh, yeah, that would make sense as I think about that for more than five seconds. Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess he would be rusty after all this time. Rising Fury, Rushing Chaos, Spear of Chaos, Immolation... <laughs> I'm getting a theme with these names. I don't even know how you upgrade the blades. I was kind of hoping some of the old move names would be in there. Oh, hey. Essence of Ares. Permanently increases strength by 10. Uh, luck by 10, I guess there isn't a wisdom stat, and uh, runic by 10, which makes sense because he was the lightning guy. Although, oddly enough, as I recall, uh, oh, there is one. As I recall, uh, yes, in the first game there was a, oh, uh, two lightning attacks. One was throwing lightning bolts, which was the power of Zeus. And one was just, Kratos just levitates in the air and blasts lightning out in an area attack around himself. I loved that attack. That was called Poseidon's Rage. I guess the other the reasoning there is that Kratos, uh, Zeus is the god of the sky, but uh, Poseidon is the absolute god of the ocean, which means a storm on the ocean belongs to Poseidon, not Zeus. I'm not going to go in there because the timer has gone, but on this incredibly ominous note... I'm burning dog face, 
and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. With these, uh, new and horrible things, Helheim doesn't stand a goddamn chance. Nice and ominous. We shall have to see what happens once we get there. Wish us both luck, Burning Dog fans, because I think Kratos is going to need it as badly as I do. Later.